First thing we've got to do is get these brake levers off. Now on, on this one, I've got these um, gears in the way. So they've got to come off first. So now we're on to the brakes. This one, we've already done, so it's easy. You're just going to take it out, take it out to the top, and take it out and out and out, round to here and down at the back of it. Um, at the back, yes, and at the back. Right, take that off and put it onto the new one. So once it's in, slide it on. Don't bother tightening anything up yet. Let's get everything in place first. That is for the front brake, which we took off because we did the front wheel. The back one, we didn't take off. There. That's better. And... That into there, that into there, close it off and it's done. And I'll put that back up there. That must be good. Is that right? No, that's the gear there. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so again, on, leave it. Right, I can put my gears back on this side. The accelerator also slides over. So I think after the break. So there and there. Yes, that'll do. My controller can go there. Yep. Okay, gears. We can put this on, which is the controller. Not happy with the attachment of that. That is not great. No, 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 no real choice. Just do it a bit. Right, don't get anything on here like a USB charger or anything. No, again not. Right, I don't want to tighten anything up until I've got these grips on just to make sure I've got the right size. Got a bit of a lubrication in that. I actually cut these to get them off, then I super glued them, wrapped solitaire around them and left them 24 hours. Okay, bring these back and align it all up. That's about right and that's about right. Yeah. And then we have this, this is a fun bit. This we have to remove the pedal. Which means you need them special tools that I mentioned in the last video. Even though we haven't got a mid pull. Oh, or do we not? We have a new type. This one I think opens up and yes. You can click that. Oh, oh very nice. Well done that company. Send a thank you to the company that made that. You don't have to remove the pedal. It opens up. Put it round the pedal. Lock it together, and then you've got this spring wire, which sits perfect to what? I like this kit. <clears throat> I have to be say I've dealt with a lot of Chinese equipment, a lot of. It's the first time I've seen this. It's so clear, so easy. You don't even need to read it. Everything, colour pictures, clear instructions, and reasonably well translated. Couldn't be simpler. Okay, so all we do is click this round the back of this. So these spider leg lugs that are going to grip onto this pedal. That's the whole idea of it. So that it will turn with the pedal. So, yeah, a little bit of a push. Get it to close like that. It's still not closing because that's half a bit. There, like that. Then I've got to get that one. <laughs> Stay closed.
It's going. It's gone. It's gone. Right now, it's on. So that's going to now spin with the tire, with the pedals. I would presume that's the idea of it. Then you take the sensor. This is the sensor. And it's got, as you'll see, two little strap holes there for you to put tire wraps through. That just sits there so that the sensor can pick up. That's a little bit there. Just aim it as best you can to a magnet. Must be less than five millimeters. Mm -hmm. That looks like more than five millimeters. What about this one? That's very close. That's very close. We could put it on that one. Yeah, I'll put it on that one. Yeah, that one's too far away. This one's closer. Okay, put it on that one. Now that is one thing I did find when doing these straight away. You need to get yourself a selection of tie wraps. You need bigger ones. Always you need bigger ones. They give you the smallest, most delicate ones that you could probably find on the market. They're no good. Once everything is connected up, I'll see if that light comes on. Uh, get the light on next. No, nothing special, technical or difficult about the light. It's just a simple bracket, fits onto there, either which way, I'll be putting this one that way around, and that sits onto there, like that. Let's find out if we can fit this somewhere. Right, the harness bag. If you had a triangular type frame like normal, like everybody should have, this is easier to choose where you want it to go. And they give straps that up through to hold it to it. Velcro strap, nice and easy. Um, and there's your wire opening. So preferably that needs to be down local to the bottom where everything's gonna be. Unfortunately, I don't have. So all I can think of is in this gap here. Yeah, we've got movement here, but it's a crushable bag. And what's going inside is minuscule. It's not going to get damaged with the little bit of movement you're going to get there. Not much at all. Um, let's see. That way around. Yeah. I know. Oh dear. Ah, that way it does. Oh yes. Yes, that's fine, is that? Good. Um, I can't use the straps on this lock, it moves. Oh, I might be able to down there. But no, a couple of tie wraps. Big lumpy straps like that, don't need that. Get some black tie wraps through it, that'll hold it nicely. And, my cable entry is down here. Unzip this, I can get to everything. Yes, that's perfect, ideal. Right, okay, let's start getting things into place. Here's this box, that's going in there, um, and I've connected the main loom to it, which is going up to the handlebars. So, start off, get that in. You just push it through this hole, and then send it to the front of the bike. Under that, tie wrap here, go through there to that one. That's easy done. Um, next, we want to get the motor cable back. By whatever means, thread it through, remembering to make sure that there is cable for movement. You don't want things locked up tight that can be causing you problems coming down the body. So at this point now, I want to get these connected first so I can pull the slack back down because I don't want all that warp sitting at the top there. So it's made some connections. Right, that'll all tie back together. Everything up there okay? Everything will turn okay? Yeah, that's good. Okay. Tie that before to there. Through there, that's the motor. Delicate one, it looks.
está quente. And again, empty up there, no more tap. Empty up there, where it belongs. Pull all the wires in. There I go. Then we gently, 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 Tie that, we'll go through that as well. So nobody can undo it. Right, what's to be done now? 